Welcome back to Mad Mike's Emporium. It's been a couple weeks probably since I've made a video. So, we'll get right to it. This week, we're going to cover some artwork. And problems with buying it, selling it, and just other miscellaneouses. For example, one of the problems you may have with buying artwork is water damage. I'll give you a couple examples for one. This one. I picked this up at Savers. Really cool, oh, some type of print of Empire. Kind of will keep it for myself probably, but it's smaller, it's remade. That's another issue you gotta remember with these things. A lot of the stuff got repoed in the last, oh, we'll say 20 years, because Star Wars was so popular. And it's an issue you're gonna have with a lot of artwork you have. Now, Looking at it first glance, looks kind of fine, right? So you notice that in the back. Water damage. Water damage is a massive problem with art and can literally be the difference between making your money back or throwing it in the dumpster. Now, as I've said probably before, I keep a couple things on hand. I keep gloves, I keep uh, Lysol wipes, something with bleach like a non-staining bleach. It's one of the best things you can do. Trust me, you're gonna, when you pick this stuff up sometimes, any thrift store, they usually do not clean this stuff. So you're pretty much on your own for maintenance of it. And even if you have a storage unit, if you have the right conditions, you can get some severe mold development, like I found out earlier, when I was looking at some 35 millimeters I had, and well, uh, I had to throw those out. May have lost a little money on them, but happens but back to the Star Wars print that's another thing I mentioned is literally anything repro remade items to look old and there's quite a few of those out on the market don't believe me going to your local Walmart how many Star Wars pictures can you buy posters stuff like that it's very hard to tell and if I get time later, I might dig out that Doors poster I have, which I am unable to tell if it's a original or a reprint from the 90s or the early 2000s. But back to artwork, let's continue with my list here. These I picked up at an auction. I think I'm holding it upside down. Other items you want to look for when you look at artwork is just bizarre situations that are not very common anymore. For instance, this. This is a fox hunting scene. Now, this is a litho, more or less. It's a print based off of the original painting. And for the age, it's actually very good condition. A little bit of uh, separation damage on the back, as you can see there. Nothing too major. Nice wooden frame. Got another one here I'll show you real quick, too. This one's more water damage than the last. You can tell on the back, a little bit of dust, other stuff on the back. Probably was in a basement for many years. Most of the stuff, what happens is people will pass away, clean out their grandparents' house or their whoever's house, and they'll just sit in their basement. They, they won't get rid of stuff because people have this notion that everything's worth a lot of money. As I said before, it is not. Some of it is, some of it isn't. Some just needs to go in the dumpster. It's just, there's not too much anymore of high value art unless you're a multi-billionaire and you're investing in, say, like a Van Gogh and you're trying to transfer money kind of willy-nilly that has appreciated value. But uh, I'm not dealing in $10 million or $35 million paintings. I'm dealing in... 2030, maybe a couple 90s here and there. And actually, you know what I can show you too? Right here. Cool set I picked up quite some time ago. These are actually produced originally from the Navy Supply Depot. So this is actually color prints from the US Navy. And these are very nice, as you can see here. Very nice artwork. If I had a house, I probably would have kept every one of these. Now, I probably paid about 
for about 50 of these things, I probably paid about $20. And I've been selling them on and off for about a year now, between $10 and $20 a pop, depending on which piece of art it is. And some are better than others. It's a lot of World War II, some World War I, possibly Civil and Revolutionary War in there. Some very nice stuff, just very classy art. And one other piece I'll show you. And another issue is, is I bought this. This, and I didn't pay a lot for it. All right, cool, a little water damaged, as you can tell. Just the waviness of the picture. You can see that in the reflection a little bit. And strangely enough, it was it's actually a photo. I actually thought it was like random print that someone printed off their computer, which has happened to me in the past. And someone in particular, I will not name, I know is renowned for, I like to call him a picture frame seller. But certain things get printed and then put in frames and then sold. And well, at certain auctions you go to, it is sold as is. So, you don't know. And I actually got to watch that the other day, quite some time ago. A particular buyer was looking at a picture of the Red Sox team. And he wanted to know if it was authentic. And he kind of unscrewed some pieces to pop it out and look at it. And uh, there was a bit of a fight in the auction house. And that person did not buy it. And someone else I know did. And they paid $20 for it. And they gave it to him dismantled, and it fell out, and it literally was a piece of printed paper. They were not happy, to say the least, but this is one of those things you have to watch out for. People with the invention of the printer in the 90s, it was very common. The quality went down substantially, and it just, people mass printed a lot of stuff. So if you go to your local savers and you're looking at pictures, pop the backs open, Give it a feel. If it feels like a printer paper, it's not even really worth it. It just, they don't sell. And actually, there's one last print I'll show you guys for the evening. This I picked up a very long time ago. I like it. It's Calvin Coolidge from the Boston Sunday Times. It was cut out. Very nice. I'm not sure when it was printed exactly. Probably in the 30s. But it's it's a nice piece. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, I collect some president stuff as well as my bizarre odds and ends and toys. And you kind of need to keep your variables open when you're selling online because one market may not be good one day, but another market will be great the next. You can't tell. As I like to use as a regular example, magic cards. Magic cards are all over the place. They'll be good days, bad days. They, they're all over the place. Well, I'm Mad Mike. This has been my Emporium. You guys enjoy your day. Night.